in this life, we have to be servants of God and servants of people. So if people are coming your way because they have a need, and if you continue to reject them, even when you are able to help, you are going to reap what you sow. So you may not agree with this, but in some way or form, you are being selfish. So in some cases, you want others to do for you, but you are not so willing to do for others. Listen, there was something I did for a person for maybe two years, and I hated it so much. Or how can I say that? I disliked it so much at first, but I forced myself to like it. Now, something happened to where now so many good things are happening to me now. And I believe it is due to how I was treating that person. Because when that person was in their time of need, I was there for that person. Now, I am in my time of need and I am being helped by a person as well. Why? Because you are going to reap what you sow. That law is always in, in effect. You want to be shown mercy, but some people are not willing to show others mercy. Yes, there is God's grace, but you are going to reap what you have sown. So if so many bad things are happening to you, and it seems like you can only get so far in life, and then you go right back, it is like <laughs> you are skiing uphill, like you can ski, how can I say this? It is like you can get so far in life, then something happens to where you backtrack, yes. Which is a curse. What are you doing in life? This life is not about ourselves. This life is about serving people. It is not about what people say that this life is about. You know, some people may say that this life is about getting a good job, a wife, husband, and pretty much doing your own thing. No, this life is not about that. Some people may say that you have to worry about your own self. No. We have to worry or be concerned about people outside our family as well. We can't be only concerned about us and our family. Everyone is our family. I believe that God sends particular people in our lives to see what we are going to do with them. So you want something of God, but when your fellow man or woman comes your way, you reject that person and wonder why 
God is not answering your prayers or doing something that you want him to do. You can't go against the rules of the Bible and believe that blessings are going to come your way. In some churches, and I believe it is so crazy, they make you believe that if you give money to the pastor there, even when you are in sin, they make you believe that by giving money in a church, that God is going to overlook your sins and bless you so much. So teaching you in so many ways how to be selfish, not being so concerned about other people. If you are not serving people, you are not doing right. It is not about what God can do for us. It is about what we can do for people and for God. So if you are not obedient to God, yes, there is God's grace. God's grace, yes. But you are going to reap what you sow. So you can't do evil all the time and believe that God is going to bless that. I don't care how much money you put into church. You are still going to reap what you sow. And not only that, God judges our intentions. So when you have these wicked intentions or these selfish intentions, do you believe that God is going to bless that? <laughs> Think about that. So many people, I believe, want to be served, but they don't want to serve. This is a huge problem. This life is not about what you can get. It is about serving. This is probably one of many reasons why you are so down or depressed all the time because you are thinking about yourself. Because if you are concerned about other people, your focus is not going to be about yourself. Your focus is going to be, how can I make this person happy? How can I bring that person to God? So when you see a person depressed and sad all the time, chances are that person is focusing on themselves way too much. How can you be a good servant focusing upon yourself? Listen, this life is not life per se. This life is about serving, not about getting so many earthly goods or building a life, I guess you can say, on this earth. So in that aspect, life is not life. Life is about passing this test because life is not life. Life on this earth is a test. But some people are trying to live life on this earth when this life is a test. This is why I believe some people are so unhappy because they are trying to do something somewhere that is not going to fit. How can I say that? They are trying to do something on a place where it is not going to work. So when your plans fail, now you are depressed. Now you are sad. Now you are empty. Because you are filling yourself with the wrong things. You are inspiring. You are trying to do things somewhere you aren't supposed to. Why would you build a house with sand? 
like right by the water, knowing that the tide is going to come in and wash it away. Why would you build a house out of wood right by a fire? Pointless. <laughs> it is pointless trying to live your life or build a life trying to put your all in this world to fulfill yourself. That is pointless. You should be thinking about serving and giving to others. When you have that selfish mentality, of course, you are going to be depressed. Let me stop here. And I pray that this makes sense. You are focusing on yourself too much. God bless you.